It's your boy Allende, the artist. Coming to you from Las Vegas, the Palacio, inside the Venetian. What's going on, fellas? How y'all doing? <clears throat> this motivating Monday. So today, what we're going to chop it up over is game. Uh, just coming off a weekend here in Vegas, damn near a week. And uh, as you would imagine, it's full of ladies, women all up and down this shit. And uh, <laughs> plenty of horny, ambitious dudes trying to get at said ladies. So, uh, yeah, I was taking notes throughout the weekend, man. Just things to try to keep in mind, you know. Uh, wasn't really uh, focusing on, on the ladies this weekend, but everybody else was. So figured I'd take a little bit of notes, shoot y'all some tips. Hopefully it'll help y'all out when you're out in the field. Um, but first and foremost, game is not controlling women. You cannot control women. What game is, is the art of getting what you want from and out of women. That's what game is. So, uh, for example, if you got to kick a chick out of your hotel room, like this fabulous room right here, um, if you got to kick her out of your car, if you got to kick her out of the crib, you got to kick her out of a party, you failed, bro. Okay? Um, it's not about arguing with chicks. It's not about putting chicks in their place. It's not about proving your point to chicks. It's simply about getting what you want um now how well you can do this uh without spending money spending too much time and without compromising self well that's is what makes you an artist right so there's obviously some strategy some skills and some manipulation involved um it's a very complex craft so we're gonna go over a couple of tips real quick, uh, just things I wanted to remember. So for all you novice starters, I'm gonna hit y'all with some teenage game. When I was a teenager, before I left the crib, I used to write my number down, right? I would take my, uh, you know, take, this is before cell phones, obviously. But I would, uh, you know, write my phone number down, boom, right? Then I would give it a little bit of space, write my phone number down again, and repeat. I write my phone number down like five to ten times, right, before I would leave the crib. And I would rip that shit up into separate pieces of paper, you know what I'm saying? Or sometimes I wouldn't, you know, I'd have it on the same piece of paper. But anyway, the point was, is that I already knew that the closing rate on girls was very, very minimal. Um, getting girls' numbers is pretty difficult. And giving your numbers a lot easier. So what I would do to obviously... You know what I'm saying? Spread my seeds, you know, figuratively speaking, is um, I would already have those numbers written down, man. Because sometimes you'll see a girl, you'll be like, damn, I want to get her number or give her my number. Maybe the window of time is small. I'm from New York, so you got to have the elevator pitch if you want to holler at people in New York. We have very little time, very, very busy. Um, so, yeah, man, I'd be locked and loaded, ready to go. And I learned that obviously from experience, from fucking having to go run and find a pen and a piece of paper and before you know she's gone. You know, then it's awkward, you know, you can't ease into it, you can't have your, you know what I'm saying, your demeanor and your rapport on check. So write this shit down before you leave the crib and just know that however many times you write it down, that's your expectation. So if you write your number down 10 times, that means boom, before you get back home, you need to give out 10 phone numbers. Doesn't make no sense you bring it home your own number, bruh. You know your fucking number by heart, right? Duh, stupid, the girls don't. So write your shit down, have it ready to go. You see a girl you like, boom, quick intro, Nice little compliment. Hey, listen, I know you're busy. You got things to do and shit. I actually got to get up out of here. But listen, hey, just take my number and yo, you know what I'm saying? If you feel too, give me a call and whatever. Out of sight, out of mind. Boom. Once you hand that off, it's on them to score the touchdown. You get what I'm saying? You made the pass already. Uh, moving on. That's also a good way to get you guys, you know, motivated. Because a lot of you guys is, is fucking scared to talk to girls, man. Um, anyhow. And you also put the ball in her court when you do that, man. You put it on her, you know what I'm saying? If she does hit you up or she does text you, well, shit, she's coming towards you. You know what I'm saying? So it's on your terms now. Uh, next thing is um, don't neglect to give girls direction. 
Um, <sighs> girls have a habit of just wanting guys to know. They just want you to know what they're thinking. They just want you to know what they want. They want you to know what to say. They want you to know what to do. They want you to know when to make a move. They want you to know when not to make a move. Okay, here's the thing. You're not a chick, right? So you can't have the same expectations that women have. You're actually better off kind of being opposite of whatever they got going on, right? So if they expect you to know, you don't expect them to know. So when you deal with women, don't be afraid to give them direction. Because if you don't, what's going to happen is they're probably not going to do or react like how you would want them to do. And that's going to put you in an awkward position. And it's going to be even more work uphill battle to try to get them back on course. So like I said in the beginning, game is not controlling women, bro. It's not. It's getting what you want from them. So if you give direct direction, you have a much better chance of getting a good response from them. And at least if you don't get it, then you know, boom, shorty ain't with it because I told her exactly what to do. Now, examples. Obviously, dudes need, ex need examples. So I'm going to give you a personal example, some game I ran uh, this weekend. And I've done it many other times when traveling especially when I'm uh, provided a beautiful room like this uh, by the gracious, generous Donovan Sharp. Thank you, D. Um, but yeah, so when I do trips, business trips or whatever, I got a really nice room provided for me. What I'll do is throughout that course of that trip, I'll select, uh, you know, who I think is you know, the, the most uh, promising prospect, a girl that I really think is nice, that I want to spend the night, that I think is boom, boom, boom. And I think there's a little bit of chemistry. And um, at some point in time, I'll just be extremely direct. And uh, I'll just give them a, a room key, right? I'll either put it in their purse, put it in their pocket or whatever, you know, lean over, whisper some shit in their ear. And obviously be, would be a girl whose number I already have. And I would just text her uh, my, my room number and just basically give her direct directions. So if she has plans to go out with her friends or she's doing something else, my, 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 my mode of operating is I'm here for business. I'm busy. So this is what we're going to this is what we're going to do. Um, you're going to go ahead, do your thing. I'm going to take care of business and do what I got to do. But you got my room key. You got my room. You know, what I'm saying whenever you're ready. Just, just come see me, come fall in. If I'm sleeping, don't worry about it. You got the key, let yourself in. Take a shower, make yourself comfortable, come wake me up. You know what I'm saying? Now, this is a little presumptuous, obviously, um, but that's the point. You're coming in real confident, you're real direct, you're giving order, you're giving direction, you're leaving it up to her now to follow, right? So if you, know, you got everything else in play, that's some sexy shit. So that's the strong, confident way to go. That's for the brothers that actually got game, that actually are getting results. So this video is really for those type dudes. This isn't for you guys that haven't even gotten off the fucking launch pad yet. This is for the guys that closed the deal from, from here and there. But uh, we wanna increase that um, those results. We wanna increase that closing rate, um, get you up to your full potential. Um, so what's another little, uh, another little suggestion? Okay, so invest in pussy, okay? The same way that you invest in stocks, diversify. Now, again, I'm gonna give you good examples so that you understand exactly what the fuck I'm talking about. You don't be like, what does that mean? I'm gonna tell you what the fuck that means, right? I'm gonna give you a great example. A mistake I see a lot of dudes doing is investing too much fucking time, too much fucking conversation, too much fucking money on one particular prospect. They'll be at a bar or a club and they'll be talking up abroad, talking up abroad. Hey, let me get you a drink. And then it's another drink and another drink and they're way deep in the conversation. Bruh, bruh, bruh. <laughs> the fuck is you doing? Okay? You're playing yourself on several levels. Number one, you're investing way too much. It's just it's just sex. Chill the fuck out. Um, number two, you're, 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 you're giving her too much time, which gives the impression that your time is not valuable. And obviously it isn't, motherfucker. It's not even val valuable to you if you could or would do that with a stranger. Um, and then also you're spending all this money on her drinks. So let me tell you what you should be doing. Whatever that budget is that you have to spend on drinks, don't spend that budget on a girl. Spend that budget on the girls. Spread it the fuck out, right? You don't want her to be your only option, right? You want her to feel like you have plenty of options and she's going to miss out if she hasn't seized uh, that opportunity. So this is how you play it. Hey, you know, hey, how you doing? I saw you. Um... Uh, let's buy you a drink. Let's talk for a little bit. Okay, boom. What I just said, literal, a drink. 
You need to close that motherfucker within that one drink. And when I say close, it doesn't have to be holding hands, walking out of the bar or the club, back to your hotel or your, or your place. No, no, no. What I mean is you need to get the name, get the number, where is she from, blah, 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 blah. Get the Instagram, whatever you got to do. Get that and get the fuck out of there, right? Repeat. Do that same thing with another girl, another girl, another girl. So if you could afford to buy that same girl three drinks, you're better off buying four girls one drink. Think about that for a second. You just put three drinks on one prospect. If it doesn't work out, you wasted all that time, all that money, right? But if you opt for one more drink, right, and you get four girls one drink, now you got four prospects, right? Four of those motherfuckers. So if you're closing at a one out of four rate, or you're closing at a 25% rate, that means you are guaranteed to close something that night, right? Just going by your own, you know what I'm saying, uh, average, right? Now, if you're the type of dude that closes 20, 25%, and you invest that in one girl, it's a 75% chance you're wasting your fucking time, right? Time is your most valuable resource. Don't be stupid. All right. Next tip, and we're going to get the fuck up out of here because I ain't giving away too much of this shit. Most of you motherfuckers don't even jump up on it. Um, what's the next one? Oh, okay. This is the next one. Since we're kind of on the topic of like traveling and visiting other places, let me give y'all a little tip, tip, tip. Especially in a place like Vegas that's super, super busy, super, super crowded, and it's a it's a, a major tourist attraction. When people are visiting from out of town, they got hella shit to do. If not, they at least have hella expectations. Women already have a short attention span, and they're already glued to their friends. Um, you know, like, look. So what's going to happen is they already got a whole bunch of preconceived fucking shit that they want to do. They already got their little, you know, click, click, click. And we came together and we got to hang out and I got to spend time with my friends. All that's going on. Bro, that's an uphill battle, dude. You're not that dude. If you're not that dude, you're not going to separate a chick from the herd. Don't waste your fucking time. What you do do, though, uh, uh, though is you look for attractive locals, right? Because the locals are not distracted by the attractions and the this and the that and this club's popping and that and I'm trying to go here and I want to go take pictures and I have to hold my friend's hand. Bro, the locals ain't dealing with none of that. They're going to work. They're doing what they got to do. They're getting off of work and then it's leisure. It's fucking Netflix and chill or, you know, whatever it is, laundry. You know, it's not that serious, right? So you have a much better chance of getting some alone time with a girl that lives in a major city or lives in a city. Um, than you are a girl that just happens to be visiting that city at the same time as you. So, uh, the state of mind you should have, this is just my humble opinion, the state of mind you should have is the girls that are also visiting, just get their social media, just get their phone number, bro. Just get their contact and you're out of there. Look at them like networking, right? If a chick lives in Atlanta, Georgia, be like, ah, I visit Atlanta, Georgia from time to time, or she lives in Texas, oh, what part of Texas? Maybe I'll be in Texas. Think like that. Just get their information and get out of there. Especially if you live in a major city. Me, I live in Miami, bro. So uh, no matter where I meet a girl, it's good to take her, her contact because Miami is the like most internationally visited city. So I know it's, at some point in time, that girl's going to come to Miami. So nothing wrong with pointing, uh, planting seeds for later. It's wasting time and energy and effort. Um, you know what I'm saying? Working towards abroad, and it's probably not even going to happen anyway. So you want to delegate your time and your attention to the most optimal options, bro. The most likely, and in traveling situations, it is the the locals. Um, and then also, anytime you visit that city again, you already got that chick that's going to be there. She's going to pick you up from the airport, all that good stuff. Um, so yeah. So when the girls are visiting, just look at it as networking. Get their contacts. Um, as far as girls that you, you, you're trying to close the deal with in that frame of time, you're trying to hook up, focus on the girls that actually live there. And you also should be already sourcing those girls that live in those cities and towns before you get there, bro. Come on, use the internet. What the fuck? Um, so anyway, that's it. I got shit to do. Um, some other interviews. So thanks for watching. Step your fucking game up. Challenge yourself on a daily basis, bro. Stop taking these girls so serious, man. It's just fun. If it's not fun, then, then you're not doing it right. All right? Peace.